And I've been having sexual relationships with him ever since I was 18. Well, you are 18, right? Yes. Okay, and you're sleeping with your father. You proved to us that this is actually a true story. This isn't mm -hmm. something you made up. Uh, you took a lie detector test. Yes, I did. And you're the one who insisted on taking it. Mm -hmm. You passed it, uh, telling the truth of, as far as you sleeping with your father. I'm tired of keeping it a secret. It's been a secret for nine months now. And, and you've been sleeping with your father for nine months. Yes. And we are actually in a relationship. And I don't look at him like that, though. You don't look at him like what? Like, like he's also my a dad, and it's wrong. Because to me, it's not. And you see a future with your father? Yes, I do. <laughs> Mm -hmm. right? Okay, yeah. you know what? I don't even know if I have the stomach to even continue with this show. Um, you probably need to see a doctor and get some kind of therapy and really sort of some help. In this case, we have a father who not only preys upon his own daughter, takes advantage of her. Preys? Preys. Well, I'm not preying upon her. Are yeah. you sleeping you're, with her? Yeah, but you're First of all, why are you here, sitting like in my chair? Get the hell out of my chair! Get out of, I never get out of my I never chair. changed her diapers. Listen, I have never fed stand her. Stand up out of my chair. I have chair. never done stand any up. of that. Stand up and okay? talk to me. You're a man. You could talk to me on your yeah, feet. Yeah, I am a man. There you go. There you go. I'm giving her a better life. You're giving How? her a better yeah, life of by I am. sleeping with her. Oh wow. Again, we're in love. Okay. It's you should different. love your daughter. Out of all my past relationships, I have never ever got along with anybody so good in my life, and she's just everything I always wanted. And it just happens to be, yeah, by blood, she's my daughter. But Morgan, on some level, you have to admit what you're doing is wrong. No. I find this story one of the most disturbing stories I've done since I've had my show. Um, being a father myself, this sickens me. I think about my own children, and I think about what Morgan's doing to his daughter, and it, it repulses me. You ever think, like, I gotta get out of this? No. Never crossed your mind? Okay. Somebody failed you, your mother, your father, whoever it was in charge of you to raise you, to instill morals and values, and make good decisions, they failed you. The fact remains, you have a man that is your biological father, who is taking advantage of you, who is preying upon you, and that will do you nothing but harm. The physical good feelings that you're feeling, that only lasts for a while. That doesn't last forever, and that's enough. That's not enough to bond two people together forever. You're gonna wake up one day and say, what the hell am I doing? And you're gonna grow to hate me. I only wish for you that someday that you'll see that somebody steps in your life uh, snaps you out of this bad dream, that you'll, you'll get to enjoy your life, um, and you, you're gonna look back and you're gonna say, man, I, I destroyed my daughter's life.